The Bible speaks to us from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, 49. Did you know that I must be about my father's business? On one of my recent walks through the marketplace, I saw this imprint on a lady's blouse. Christ is coming back again. Look busy. At first, it was a bit comical to me and I could not help smiling. But then a thought struck me. Should we just look busy? Many of us believe that we are serving a God who is easily fooled because of his loving, easygoing nature. We are indeed on the battlefield for God and should be winning souls for him. Unfortunately, we treat this mandate and task much like it is of little or no importance. And we are attempting to look busy for God. Why? Just so we can have a good reputation and look good in the eyes of those who are observing. This is not good enough. We are told in God's word that he will reward each person according to the work that he has done. In other words, you will get pay for what you did. And the pretense of working for Christ will put us nowhere but in hell for lying to ourselves, for lying to others, and indeed for lying to God. Surely Christ will soon return as we can look around us. All the signs are pointing toward home. And we must be on the lookout for him. But while we watch, we should also be busy in reality. We must be working for him. It is our purpose, our reason for becoming Christians. It is our duty. Introduce Christ to others at work, at school, on the buses, in the supermarket or the polling stations, and now more than ever during COVID-19, just about anywhere you go and anyone you speak to on the telephone. Seek today to become truly busy. Then you could look forward to your reward for being a genuine, hardworking Christian. Christ is coming back soon. Be busy. Be ready. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you and we're thankful that we can approach the mercy seat one more time. We're thankful that we can call on you as we lift up our eyes to the hills from whence cometh our help. I pray for everyone who views this telecast today, that thou would touch them in the need that is there most in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Here's my thought. Help me to be busy as in the field I go, that many souls will be harvested from the seeds I sow. Have a good and godly day.